All right. Greetings. Mabudiga. Osio. Alafia. Hetep. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom alaikum. Welcome to Like It Is Today, the media center for the children of the sun diaspora. And today we have a very distinguished guest. And I mean, a very distinguished guest. This particular guest is someone who is very, very knowledgeable. Someone who is a walking library, a walking historian. This is someone, this is an elder. This is a very dear elder of mine, one of my elders, like an uncle to me, okay? And he is someone who has been around for a very long time. He's walked with some of the greatest. I mean, this particular brother, I mean, you know, you guys who call yourselves historians and things of that nature, uh, well, this particular brother here, let's put it this way. You guys have read a lot of books, okay? And done a lot of research. You spent a lot of time in libraries and things of that nature. However, this particular individual is the library, okay? This particular individual is the Google search, okay? And this particular elder, like myself, was around before there was an internet to do uh, Google searches, you know? And he was around definitely before my time, so you know how it was back then. So anyway, this particular individual has walked with the greats. And today he is going to talk about uh, his journey walking with those greats. And he's going to, he's going to talk about Malcolm X, Clarence 13 X, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. And this is coming from the perspective of someone who has walked with them all. Okay. And my particular guest today is none other than Brother Melchizedek Allah. Shabazz Allah. Okay. And without further ado, Brother Melchizedek, peace. B, let's see. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Turn it up. Turn up the volume. Can you hear me? It's loud and clear. No. Can, can you hear me? It's loud and clear, brother. We hear okay. you loud and clear. Let me check on okay. let me check on the on the on the video um on the actual screen. Let me see. You're loud and clear. Yeah, you're loud and clear. Very loud, brother. It's very loud? Okay. Yeah. And the most all right, in the most holy name of Almighty God Allah, who came in the person of Master W. D. Farad Muhammad, the only God, the true and living God, universal, most high God, and the only God. Okay, and if, if you believe in another God or think there's another one, you're just wasting your time, you're going to fool out yourself. And that is Master W. D. Farad Muhammad, who is the Mahdi, who is the Son of Man, who, who, who is the Messiah and who is the, the Jesus that's going to crush this, this wicked civilization in any, in, at any given time, okay? And his last, greatest, and only messenger there's only one messenger of Allah, and that is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And nobody on earth besides Master W.D. Farad Muhammad, nobody on earth is qualified to shine his shoes, wear his, uh, 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 shine his shoes, kiss his feet, sit in his seat, or sit on his toilet stool. There's only one 
messenger, and that is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Okay, and he is the one that went around the world, went around the country for seven years, preserving, holding, and protecting the supreme wisdom that he received from Almighty God Allah. Nobody experienced that but him. And he was the one that went to prison for five years to preserve, preserve, protect uh, the supreme wisdom for, for the Lord's foundation of Islam in America. Okay, and his wife, Clara, the first lady of the nation of Islam, she was the one that kept everything together, okay, kept the believers together, taught the sisters how to cook, taught them how to uh, sew, and she was the one that set up the homeschooling. It was Queen Clara Muhammad, the messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, original wife and only wife. Okay, I just want to make that plain because yeah. so there's a lot of confusion going on out there. And so I want to make it plain. One Allah, Master Prophet Muhammad. One messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And yeah, the Prophet third Lord. is the true believers of the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, now, so now, I be Lord. Supreme Shabazz Allah, universal high priest of the nation of Islam on earth and in the universe. Okay, yep. so I'm happy to be on this, my brother's show, uh, The Seekers of Truth, uh, like it is. So it's open. Feel free to ask me anything. Let me know where you're going to start, and we can get it going. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah, so what I wanted to do is, before you go into all that history. But, but you got to speak a little louder, brother. Turn up your volume so I can hear you. The volume is is very loud. It's it's on your it's probably on your on the end of your phone. It's is not loud enough. Okay, my phone is up. Okay, go ahead. Um, the before you go too far too much further into the history for those who don't know who you are, who might be saying, "Well, who is this guy? Uh, what qualifies him to talk about the nation of Islam or all of this history?" Who is he to tell us this or that and the other? Let them know your bio. <laughs> well, I, I be Melchizedek Supreme Shabazz Allah. I came into the knowledge in the year of uh, 1957 in Green Haven State Prison. That's when I came into the knowledge, uh, uh, got introduced to the supreme knowledge with understanding by a brother uh, named was brother who was in prison with me. Name was Walter 5X. His name was Walter 5X. He's also Balar Shabazz Allah, and he's also Makmur Ramza. Okay? He was in prison at the time. And uh, Minister Malcolm X, he was already a registered Muslim in the Nation of Islam. And Malcolm X used to come inside Green Haven State Prison. This is what a lot of, a lot of those out there, some know, and those who do know don't talk about that. They always try to leave that out. Now, Malcolm X is the one, Malcolm X, under the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. When you hear me say Malcolm X, I'm talking about Mal Minister Malcolm X, who's under the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He used to come inside Green Haven State Prison and share the wisdom, the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad with Brother Walter 5X, who is Shabazz Allah and Makmur Ramza. At that time, Malcolm used to bring all of the articles, the original articles from the Pittsburgh Courier into Green Haven State Prison to, to share with Brother Walter 5X. Well, the Walter 5X was teaching Islam, the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad in Green Haven State Prison. There was no Islam in Green Haven State Prison. There was no Sunnis, no Orthodox. The only... Islam that was in Green Haven State Prison was the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and that's the actual fact, okay? So Brother Walter Fivex had the table in the yard uh, teaching uh, the, the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. So when he received these articles from the Pittsburgh Courier, because that's where the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was writing in, because there was no uh, a message of black man, no publication at all, because the messenger had did five years in prison, and he, when he was released, then he was putting his program back together. So he was writing all in the, he was putting all his articles 
his lectures was in the Howard Tribune and the uh, the the, the, the Pittsburgh Courier, Harry, 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 Harry Tribune, and the um, Amsterdam News. All his articles was in those publications. So Minister Malcolm used to bring all of the articles from the Pittsburgh Courier into Green Haven State Prison to Walter Five X. And then Walter Five X, all those that was around the table, he would give us the opportunity. Each one had the opportunity to read those articles at, at, at night. Like one night was this brother had it, one night was his turn, one night was his turn. And then the night when it was my turn, I took all those articles into my cell and I sat there and read those articles. And I read them up until the, 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 the cell light went out. When the cell light went out, then I got down by the tail light and continued reading those articles. I read all, all those articles that night, okay? And it was, I knew then, I knew then that there was a high power, a high force, a high, a high, a high universal force and power it had to be like a god in order for the most honorable Elijah Muhammad had to come in contact with for him to be able to share that supreme wisdom with us. Okay? And that's how I got introduced to the nation of Islam. I become I became hooked, hooked like a drug addict got hooked to drugs. I was uh, in, in fact eventually I became what you would say a strong believer. But some people refer to me as a as a belief uh, as a, a fanatic, but it's only a strong believer. Strong believer and a fanatic is the same thing. Okay, so then I became uh, a member of the table. I gave them back the articles the next day, and I said I'd like to come to the table and to to, to receive some more of this supreme wisdom. Which he said, sure, it's open for everybody. So I I, I became a member of the table. Now to become a member of the table. You had to bear witness, okay, openly. Now you got security guard, the the uh, uh, of um, the, the the correctional officers all over the place, cause you're out in the yard, all over the place, all up on the tear, shotguns, riot guns, tear gas, the whole nine yards. So you, but you had to bear witness to show your faith that you uh, accept these teachings. You had to bear witness. See, it's easy to bear witness out here in the mosque, in the street or in your house, but you had to bear witness inside Green Haven State Prison in the prison yard that there is no God but Allah who came to person Master W.D. Farad Muhammad and the only messenger, the only messenger you had to bear witness that his last greatest and only, only messenger is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and all white people is the devil by nature made to be destroyed and not to be given another chance. You had to recite that in the prison yard, in front of the inmates, in front of the, the, uh, the, the, um, the correctional officers, whoever was surrounded, whoever was there, and everybody was, uh, had that table surrounded. But that's what you had to do to show your faith, sincerity, and honesty, okay, in order to continue being a member of the table, okay, uh, 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 and show your and uh, uh, show that you are a sincere, a true believer, and that you are a member of the table. You had to you had to make that known publicly. Okay, so that's how it all started. And then Walter Five X, Blashabaz Allah, Mahmoud Ramza, he kept on teaching. Uh, he was heavy. In fact, Walter Five X, who is Blashabaz Allah, Mahmoud Ramza, he was the closest to Minister Malcolm. There's no minister out there yesterday or today was more close to Malcolm than him because Malcolm, out of his busy schedule, used to come inside Green Haven State Prison and he's the only brother that Malcolm visit in prison. And it was Walter 5X, Bala Shabazz Allah, Mukmo Ramza, and Malcolm X that established laid the foundation and established the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad in Green Haven State Prison, okay? And as the, uh, the teachings start spreading, circulating through the inmates. Now, Walter 5A converted three-fourths of the inmates 
in Green Haven State Prison. Walter 5X. Allah Shabbat Allah Makmuram. He did that. Okay. And with him and Minister Malcolm X was the one that put the writ together as we start spreading, getting so big, because they said they're going to start shipping us out. So we had to memorize whatever lessons or understanding or wisdom that we had of these teachings. We had to memorize them. Walter 5X, Allah Shabbat Allah, Makmuram made it plain. Memorize all you can because they're going to start shipping us out. And whenever they ship you to, it's your responsibility to go there and rewrite the wisdom that you've learned and, 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 and share it with the, the other, the, and wherever you go to share with the, the brothers that you come in contact with. Now, so, Walter 5X, Makmuram, Balaam Shabbat Allah, he says, now what we have to do, we're putting this writ together. And all those that sign this writ, it's not compulsory. You don't have to do it. But if you understand the importance of this wisdom reaching our people who do not have access to it, you will sign up on this writ. So when the word went out, it got thrown to the correction officers. They said anybody who signs this writ will not leave Green Haven State Prison alive. Okay, so Walter, Allah Shabbat Allah, made it plain, draw a crescent, take your pillowcase and draw a crescent the best you can and put it on your, your bedpost. So let the, the correctional officers know that you are the ones that, that in, that's involved with having this, um, the teachings established in prison. And that uh, uh, by us putting the posters there, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the crescent, on our bedpost, that will let the, uh, the the correctional officers know we are the ones. So those those who wasn't involved and wasn't uh, wasn't involved with this, they wouldn't be harmed. So whatever harm you're going to do, we taking that full responsibility, and that's the way it was. Okay, so the written went through, and by Malcolm going all over the country, smoking with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm under the teachings of the most honorable life mom. There's nobody on earth that can wear his shoes yesterday or today. Malcolm. It was Malcolm. Malcolm X under the teachings of the most honorable life mom. Okay? So anyway, um, the event went through. So they didn't want to take a chance on doing us harm because Malcolm was coming in and out of the prison. You understand by him coming in and out of the prison and all over the country smoking with the all in the colleges, all with the youth, all outside. Malcolm was the baddest thing out there. So if anybody out here think you can be a Malcolm, <laughs> hey, go get go go sit down and eat a bean pie and stop fooling yourself. Okay. <laughs> you can never be a Malcolm. You can't even wear shoes. You understand? Mm. All you're doing is walking on Malcolm's uh, uh, foundation. You understand? Now, if you look, walk on the Malcolm Foundation, you get some recognition. But if you're trying to establish yourself like you know more than Malcolm or you did or you did performance, your performance can outdo Malcolm. <laughs> you're just wasting your time. Go down, go sit down, eat a bean pie, keep your mouth shut and stop making a fool out yourself. OK, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, that's how it went. So it got to the point where it was so big, so large, and shipping, it, shipping us all over the place. Now, Walter 5X, who is Balaam Shabazz Allah, Muk Maram, I got to make that because those are his two, his two attributes, his three, his three, high, his three titles and, and three levels of understanding. They shipped us out. They shipped us out. All they gave us was $20 in a state suit and no transportation. So Malcolm's uh, 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 Walter Five X. No, Malcolm had a brother come up to Austin in New York, and, and and bring us down to New York. So when we got down to New York, I went to my my wife's house. I was married at the time. At, at the time, my wife was, we was living in Fort Green Projects, but I couldn't stay there because they had that policy like they got now. If you're arrested, your family can't stay in the projects. You have to move. Okay, no problem. So I said, told my wife, you stay here. I'm going out in the street and, I'm, and, and I went to my mother's house and stood there for about two or three weeks and I, and I stayed there 
And I said, you stay here. I'm going out in the street. But don't you worry about nothing because you and your children, so you and the children are not going to want for nothing. I'm going out in the street. Okay? Uh, and that's exactly what I did. So anyway, I met my queen. I was up on uh, 7th Avenue uh, after I left the temple one Friday night. And of uh, the uh, the um, the Cook Brothers, uh, was it Cook? Um, oh, what's his name? Anyway, the 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 revolutionaries that was up on their teaching. Black Nationalist Brothers, uh, Carlos Cook, and the other one was Davis the, and, and Brother Davis, and I think that Bashid or oh, all them brothers good. up there on the ladder. They teach, teach them on the ladder on Seventh Avenue and One Hundred Twenty Fifth Street. So so happened the queen of mine that I used to work with when I was out before I got arrested, uh, Queen Willamay Muhammad. I got to give credit to Queen Willamay Muhammad. We always had a close relationship. So she was coming down 125th Street, she had just left Apollo, and she saw me, and she said, whoa, sugar, how you doing? How you, where you been? How's everything? This and that and the other. So I said, well, I just, I was in prison. I said, I was arrested. And uh, and I'm, I'm out now. And I said, uh, how you doing? How's everything? This and that and the other. She said, well, I'm good. She said, well, you look so good. What what you doing? What's the problem? I said, well, all I'm doing now is following the teachings of the most humble life Muhammad. Okay. Trying to make a whole new life for myself. She said, well, that's good. She said, okay. Well, whatever it is, I'm with you. I'm with you. Because you know, I always love you. Even though I know you're crazy, but I always love you and still love you. And she said, where you at now? I said, well, I'm by my mother's for a week or so, uh, two weeks. And, uh, but you know, I ain't staying there because you know me, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm independent. That was just a, an emergency thing because when they made it plain, I had to leave. I couldn't stay at my house in Fort Greene because they, they, that would jeopardize the, my wife and children. She said, well, don't even worry about that. She said, you ready, you ready to leave? I said, I'll leave tomorrow. <laughs> so she said, what are you doing Wednesday? I said, nothing. She said, well, listen, Give me, give me the address and everything. Wednesday, I'm coming by. They'll take and you, and, and you and, and taking you to my house. So that Wednesday, she came, picked up whatever little stuff I had. There wasn't much. I just came out of prison, so it took me to her house. Gave me keys to the house, keys to her. She was driving a a roadmap, Buick Roadmaster, keys to the Roadmaster. And okay, she said, "Don't wait." She said, "The weekend, Saturday, we're going shopping." So Saturday took me out. Bought me several outfits, shoes, hats, shirts, all that. And with about 30 days, I was about the cleanest brother in the, in, in the temple. So anyway, <laughs> that's a long story short. I'm sure. That's how it all started. And so when I got the word to come to the temple, when Walter called me and said, the Malcolm wants to meet the brothers who was in prison. So I went to, I went to the temple, to the FOI class, okay, to register and everything, because I wasn't registered. And of uh, um, and while I was in the FOI class, registered and everything, and it became a register, wrote my letter, wrote my letter, everything to Chicago. Uh, I became um, Ernest 5X. Okay, the sister was, um, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Uh, oh, I forgot the sister's name. I know the sister's name. Oh, I know the last name was Kareem. I still got my letter anyway. So then I started going to FOI class, and then in the FOI class, I, I met them. That's when I met the father. Clarence 13 X, who's the father of the God's mm -hmm. Earth Nation. Powerful, powerful brother. I loved him from the beginning. Okay. Mm. And uh, then we graduated to go to the the, the regular mm. FOI class. Okay. Because we pass our student enrollment and everything. We recited all that. So now we become a full FOI. Okay. So we both was in the un FOI class class together and all the other brothers that were there okay i uh, met malcolm face to face shook his hand everything and malcolm had instructed captain joseph at the time the captain to uh whatever we need whatever these brothers need or whatever they want whatever make sure they have it and keep in touch with me and whatever they whatever they, that they need or whatever and anytime these brothers want to see me it's no problem because the performance but they did uh, an establishing the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad in New York State Prison was never done before. If anybody said that it was, they are a liar. 
just ask them to show and prove. If they can't show and prove, just tell them to shut their mouth and stop uh, perpetrating the fraud. Okay? <laughs> so the other brothers there, it was Gladstone, Big Sid, Karate Bob, a lot of brothers that was in prison, it was there with, with you know me, with Malcolm at that time. And uh, uh, I can't name more, but it was a lot of brothers there. So anyway, make a long story short, then the father and I climbed 13X and earned 5X. We both got our X's. He was climbing 13X. I was earning 5X. Uh, we both with Malcolm had a, 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 a public speaking class, which was training us to be ministers and community leaders. So we naturally rejoined the class. Then we started memorizing the lessons and so forth. And, uh, um, and, and, and Brother Claps was good. He was good. You know, everybody had their gift. And he was gifted is memorizing and reciting those lessons, okay? And uh, uh, he was qualified to be a qualified minister. I was qualified to be a qualified minister. But you always had that petty, petty, and being jealousy everywhere you go. You got that petty and being jealousy. Always somebody, if they, if they, if you outshine them, they want to block you from moving on. You understand what I'm trying to say? If that took place then, and it takes place now, okay? So anyway, uh, after Brother Clarence got got a, uh, uh, his hand on the whole set. Because you always have uh, somebody, no matter where you go, you always go have somebody to add on to what you what you don't know or supply you what you don't have. So mm -hmm. somehow, a uh, brother Clarence got a, got a, a copy of the original, the complete set of the Supreme Lessons, which the gods and earth call uh, the one twenty, the one twenty, and the supreme wisdom from the temple under the most honorable Elijah Muhammad through Malcolm X is the same thing. And Malcolm X was the minister in the New York. He was the minister at Temple Number 7, uh, 102, 116th Street. Malcolm was the minister, and Malcolm laid the foundation of the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad in the New York area, okay? And just to let you know how powerful Malcolm was, Malcolm was the one that set up uh, 46 temples. Malcolm X. He also set up, yes, that's the supreme wisdom. The supreme wisdom and the 120 is the same lessons, okay? And that's what Clarence uh, set up, okay? Uh, 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 established in the street. So when Clarence uh, did not get the opportunity to take, go to another level as far as assistant minister or warming up the congregation and bringing Malcolm on. That's, and he also recognized that lessons, lessons was being uh, held up then, just like they're trying to be held up now, but they can't stop it now because I put all the lessons on the worldwide internet, okay? The book the brother just showed you, that's going all over the country, okay? It's all over. Uh, on my website. Oh, my website is Universal Supreme Shabazzallah.com. Universal Supreme Shabazzallah.com. Yeah, I'm going to okay. put it on the screen uh, uh, before you go off. So you yes, got plenty of time. Yes, you can put my, and my cash app there for all those. But you can go to my website. You can go there and uh, make a print out copy of all those lessons that's there. And the reason why I put them on the website like I did, so it will be there forever. And that website been set up, been there for 23 years. For 23 years, I've been paying for that website to be up there so all the young generation, all the brothers, all black people of America will have the opportunity to go there and make a print out copy of those lessons. Because like Master Almighty God Allah and the person of Master W.D. Farad Muhammad, he made it plain supreme wisdom okay lessons okay that he gave to the most honorable elijah to his servant supreme lessons from master w d farad muhammad that he gave to his servant the most honorable elijah muhammad for the lost foundation nation of islam in america those lessons is for the lost foundation nation of islam in america and the lost found nation in America is the universal Travis Shabbat. When you say who is the original man, 
the Asiatic black man, the owner, the maker, the cream of the planet Earth, the father of civilization and God of the universe. That is the lost found nation of Islam in America, known or called, called so-called Negroes. Okay? So now, um, Brother Clarence, the father, I said Clarence, I'm talking about the father of the gods and earth. He came out in the street with the lessons because he felt just like I felt. The lessons is for everybody. It's not supposed to be for certain people. Like they say, Muslims only. It never was just for Muslims only. It's for Black America, the lost foundation of Islam in America. Okay. So at this, he at this time, at the, I'm sorry. At this time, what were uh, what was your position in the Nation of Islam, and what was his position? My position in the nation. Yeah. I can't. Well, yeah. Well, at, at this time, what was your position in the Nation of Islam? Oh, my position in Nation Islam, I was just an FOI in the public speaking class, learned to be a minister and a community leader. That was my position. And, and, what, was and Clarence, what was Clarence's I beg position? Pardon? And what was Clarence's position at Oh, Clarence, time? his position was a FOI, a, a devout FOI of um, learning to be a community leader and a minister. That was our, That's what we were being trained for. OK, but then it was always a blockage when you qualify for certain things. Those who lack the lack the qualifications, they have a, a way of blocking so you can go to the next level. Clarence 13 was qualified to be a minister right off because the ones that was was in that position, they were good, but they wasn't as good as him. He them lessons. He mastered the lessons. He mastered the lessons. You had nobody in there other than Malcolm X. That can that can kick those lessons like Clam 13X. Okay. I was good too, but I'm gonna give credit where credit was. He 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 was he was he had me he had me beat he had me beat. If 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 he was hundred, I was ninety-five or ninety. We were smoking with them lessons. Cause we we didn't because see, before I came into the the uh, the nation of Islam, see I had studied three years of the it's the teachings when I was in prison. So when I came in, I always was advanced. You understand what I'm trying to say? Right. And so uh, 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 so that's why it's easy for me to catch on. But uh, uh, Clarence 13X, I must give credit what credit is due. He was the man when it came to knowing them lessons, explaining the lessons, and breaking them down. So anyway, when he got a little annoyed with the interference, that's when he made up his mind to leave the temple and come out in the street. And he didn't leave. There was no disturbance. People say, well, he got put out. They said, no, no, let's not go into that stupidity. He left on his own, just like I did. Mm -hmm. Nobody, I never got put out or, or, or dismissed from no temple. Mm -hmm. I leave on my own. When I get tired of foolishness, I just walk away. There's no sense in me staying someplace when I know I can do better on my own. And I don't have to, once I got the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding, I don't have to depend on a temple or a building. I so he was so he was ne so he was never put out. No, he was he left. But they say that to make it look like 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 um he had a problem. He had no problem. Some people hear him say about it, he had a problem with his wife. That's a lie. His wife ain't never had no problem with him. See, people create different things to try to make themselves look like uh they're on the right track. If you're on the right track, then why don't you come out in the street? Now all those who run their mouth about Brother Clarence. Brother Clarence came out in the street. He was the one that went to all the young brothers. He the one that went to the projects, all the yeah. project houses, all the street, wherever young brothers was, he went there. So if you had so much knowledge, why didn't you do that? Mm -hmm. that was, if, why, why did he, if you was doing that all the time, then he wouldn't have to come out and do that. Right. The street, and the street at that time, the young brothers in the street, they needed supreme wisdom. They were young. We talking about 12 years old, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, whatever. Why didn't you come and share the wisdom with them? The reason why you didn't come and share the wisdom because you was under uh, 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 that control thing. Supreme wisdom, you can't control the word of God. The word of God is for everybody, whether you like it or not. It's not yours. God knowledge belongs to everybody, not just somebody. And this is what they can't get in their head. But now they got to get it in their head 
You understand what I'm trying to say? Because they don't have no choice because now it's all over the country. It's all over the world. It's all over the penal institution. Okay? So anyway, he came out and circulated the lessons and did what he had to do. And then, you know, when you're out there doing the right thing, remember, the three most dangerous men is, is the, is, is the um, a, wide, uh, a, a rich man, a rich man who shares his wealth with a poor man. He's dangerous. And a wise man who shares his wisdom with the ignorant, dangerous. And the, and the man whom the revelation is revealed. You understand what I'm trying to say? So anyway, so he did a good job. And then eventually, he was, as you all know, he was arrested uh, 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 for two years. He went away. They had like a riot or something in there in, the, in, in Harlem. And uh, the, anyway, they found charges, trumped up charges on him when he was keeping the peace and he was, went to prison for, I think it was two years in marijuana and why he was in prison. That was the worst thing they did. But when he went in prison, he, start, he taught, he taught in prison. <laughs> okay. And, and, he, and the five of the started spreading all over the place. All the projects, Gowana projects, Fort Free projects, uh, 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 St. Nick's projects, Kingsborough projects, all, every project in New York was in, infested with, the five percenters, okay? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so this it starts the movement. The five percenters start spreading all over rapidly. I mean, rapidly, all in the street, all in the corners. And when they had a parliament in Fort Green Park, the five percenters filled the park. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So then, anyway, make a long story short. And then, when the father of um, like you always got somebody uh, uh, got set up. I, I, who I don't know, but when he when he left and went home. Then I picked up, I picked up the banner. Okay, I had two locations because I was, and when I came out, I, I got right into business because I'm always about economics. So I set up a store, um, the jewelry store on the Utica Avenue in East and Utica Avenue between Montgomery and Empire Boulevard. And then the other one was on the 116th Street, up the street from the temple, okay, by 7th Avenue. Now those two locations was a distribution center for the lessons. I dealt with lessons. I never was a Kawan man, okay? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not into Kawan because that man they called Prophet Muhammad was a white man, and he never taught nobody black. He only taught with white Arabs, okay? So I would start circulating the lessons by thousands. Minimum zero, having them zeroed up, minimum graphed up, and everything by the thousand. Everybody that came by me, they know. It. That book that the brother just showed you, I was giving it out free. Okay, but it wasn't in book form. It was in Xerox copies. But the whole the complete book was there. I didn't give it out. To whoever came by me, they got the lessons. And then the good thing, it, we, it went down like that because the lessons was preserved in the street, in the prisons, all over. Those lessons was preserved because of the works, action, and deeds of the five percenters. They did an excellent job preserving those lessons because as you know, when that snake of the grafted top type came in, crawling around on the ground like a grafted, a snake of the grafted type, uh, and, and, and uh, had the, the, the FOIs putting the lessons in the garbage can, or the, you all know, that, you know, you know the story of that. And they start discarding the, the lessons, the uniforms, and things like that. The lessons was going all over the place, okay? And then, um, you know, the history of Malcolm X. Malcolm was smoking. Like I said before, Malcolm was all over the country. Malcolm set up 46 temples, 46 universities. It was Malcolm that went to all the colleges and raised up all the Healy Newton, Bobby Seale, uh, uh, Rap Brown, Stokey Kai Malcolm, uh, Angela Davis, the Sad Brother. All those students, college students, with Malcolm raised them up with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Every organization out there, whatever their program is, whatever their direction is, whatever, they're working on the foundation that was established by Malcolm and with the, with the knowledge, with the understanding that Malcolm got from the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad is the father of it all. He's the father of it all, whether we accept it or not. He's the father of it all. And then after when, uh, uh, so I kept it going, you know. So by me, me, uh, 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 
supplying the, 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 the all the brothers in the street with the lessons, I became like magnetic attraction. Everybody, everybody came to me for lessons. And then when the brothers went to the lapel pin, they said, uh, I was doing all the lapel pin uh, off all the different organizations and everything. Uh, the Stony East Star and all them, I was doing his emblems, Masonic emblems, Hebrew emblems and everything. And then when um, after, after the father left, then the, the guards came and asked me, they said, Melchior, you're doing everybody's emblem, can you do ours? So they bought me one of the originals and I started doing the the the, the emblem for the five cents. So all those years from them up to now, I've been supplying the, the father, the, the 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 nation with the flags, the universal flag, the universal flag, and the 120, which is the supreme wisdom. Now the five percentes and the nation of Islam, they're their family. Their family. It's just one in the street and one in the temple. You understand? And the reason why the ones in a lot of them is in the best Muslims that's in the nation of Islam now with five percenters. The best Muslims you got right now in the nation of Islam were came out the five percent nation. Mm. Okay, okay. So, uh, so then everything started blooming and blooming. You know, and then then Carly came on the scene, powerful black guard. Carly, Carly. Let me tell you, Carly was a black giant. <laughs> I mean, fearless. Okay, that was a pleasure being with Khaled. And uh, I started I doing all his interviews. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I remember Dr. Khaled. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Khaled was a black god, black giant. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But like I said before, you always got that envy and jealousy. <laughs> right, right. You understand know what I'm trying to say? Anytime you're going to outshine, anytime other people think you're going to outshine them, they got a problem. They're, yeah. not, about the, they're yeah. not about the whole masses of the people. They get all personal like they being left forgotten about or left out or not being noticed or all that all that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, then the nation started booming and booming, booming. You know, stuff going on and the and the most honorable Latin Muhammad uh, uh, of um it was uh, it was Malcolm. Malcolm was the uh, Malcolm was more valuable to the messenger. Now Malcolm X under the teachings of the most honorable Latin Muhammad. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay. I don't get into the other thing, okay? Pow! He produced the giants. Giants, okay, I'm trying to say. Okay, so he produces the Muhammad Ali, okay? He, Muhammad Ali didn't know nothing about no Islam. He, he didn't know nothing. It was Malcolm that motivated him and taught him the teaching and made him fearless, you know, and, and, and elevated him to the level that he got uh, in, in the world from the um, directions and understanding and teachings of uh, Malcolm X, okay? So that, that's a, that's about to, I want anybody's out there, just ask me some questions. No problem, uh, uh, you got open door for questions, brother? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, okay, now, oh, tell um, me, come on with me. You all got to speak a little loud so I can hear you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, no, 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 they would be typing in the chat. Huh? Yeah, they would be typing their questions in the chat. Um, but before we get to the questions, uh, I wanted to you to elaborate on when well, you just brought up Dr. Khaled Muhammad. So, how did well, this, explain to them your relationship with Dr. Khaled Muhammad? Because I remember y'all were y'all y'all were very close. Yes. Okay. Dr. Khaled and I was very close. Okay. And, and 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 they had a place on 125th Street called the Mart, where where uh, the Mart, where uh, whenever he, there was, all the brothers had businesses and things there. It was Mart like a meeting place for all the guards out in the street. The that's guards. where I, that's where I met him. Right, right. Yeah. And he used to come there. And when he's in town, we meet at the Mart, and he be explained that everything of, of all his trips throughout Africa and different places where he go, and all of his lectures and everything. I was always there. And it was myself and Sarnetta. Sarnetta and I, we had the largest collection of all his all his uh, tapes, all his, uh, his speeches, lectures. At that time, it was on VHS for, at first. And then we put it on um, uh, DVD. Okay, Sarnetta had a large collection. I had a pretty large collection. And when I didn't have, Sarnetta would supply me with. So it was Sarnetta and Melchizedek that's, that's, that circulated Carlos lectures Big time. Nobody out there was putting them out there like us. We put it out there. 
all his lectures and speeches and so forth, which is now all over YouTube anyway. Okay. Right. Now, um, everywhere Carlin was lecturing at the Dempsey Center, the slave, or, 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 or wherever he was having his, uh, uh, a meeting, let, doing speeches and so forth, I was always, we always there because Carlin had a magnetic attractive power, a black giant. He didn't have back truth. Right, okay, right. he didn't come in front of no, no bulletproof glass and all that kind of stuff. Black man's God, the white man's the devil. Okay, and uh, and Carly was powerful, powerful. Now it was Carly, okay, who uh, 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 was going to all them colleges. See, when Carly connected with, uh, he, oh, he rose up when he joined up with Minister, came to New York under Minister Farrakhan. Carly rose up to be the supreme captain of the Nation of Islam at one time. He was a pink captain for a while, and then he became the uh, national representative. And at the national representative, Carly was going all over the country, all to all the colleges and everything, uh, uh, teaching all the, all, all, all the college students. And, uh, um, and Carly was cooked with all the rappers. Carly right. was, all them rappers was teaching conscious rap. They weren't teaching that garbage that they're doing now. Exactly. When, when Carly was out there, they was like, Ice Cube and uh, Queen Latifah and Ice T and all them rappers, they were teaching conscious rap. Mm -hmm. They weren't teaching that garbage that they teach now. Exactly. Okay. So Colin, he raised all, oh, he was splitting. All them college students, all the rappers, Colin was bringing them all into the nation. Okay. Colin was doing that. Okay. Yeah. Colin was powerful. Okay. Oh, and I yeah. love him. I respect him. He did an excellent job. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And so now, the, as you all heard, know, the uh, the speech he made in King's College, I was there. In college, was, mm. the Jews was, the Jews was out there uh, uh, preaching the death of college. We want college. We want college. All that kind of stuff. I remember that. And, right? And so college just made a plain at the Jews. You devil. What do you call them? A bagel-eating hook? No. <laughs> I remember that. Carlin yeah. went on. I remember he dragged them Jews. He dragged, but he didn't. But they was the ones that provoked to that. It wasn't Carlin. Right. Carlin right. was defending himself. Mm -hmm. He always the, 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 the respect of himself, and also defending the respect of Minister Farrakhan. You understand what I'm trying to say? Right, right. And he dragged them Jews. Now, but the the House Negroes, okay, Jesse Jackson, Ben Chavis, and all them, the 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 black um. What you call them? Oh shoot, the black clergy. The the oh, uh, there's a name for them. The 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 shoot, what's the name? The black um, they got a name for it. Anyway, all them so-called black uh, uh black leaders. Okay, uh, uh, they they start complaining to Minister Franklin about Carly. Right. Do something about him. Talk to him. This and that and all the other, but. Uh, the black, uh, oh, the black caucus, the black caucus. Oh yeah, the black caucus. Yeah. A, 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 a complaint about Carly, this Carly, that. But the black caucus was nothing, nothing but a bunch of Uncle Tom slave masters niggas. Right, okay. right, exactly. That's what they would consist of, yeah. all of them, because they didn't have the courage, didn't have the the, the speak the truth like Carly. Mm -hmm. The only way you can speak truth is raw. Well, you can't be nice teaching truth. When mm -hmm. you teach truth nicely, it's not accepted. You got to teach it like it is and let them see the reality of what you're saying. Right. So anyway, the Black Caucus got together and kept annoying Minister Farrakhan about Carly, 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 Carly. So eventually, uh, Minister Farrakhan left. Um, uh, he was in Chicago and came to Washington, okay, and said that he agreed with everything Carly said but we're just in the manner that he said it. So then he um, right, uh, dismissed Carlet from his his post. Now, Carlet uh, uh, loved the Minister Farrakhan. I've said this before. Carlet respected Minister Farrakhan. He loved the Minister Farrakhan like a son loved a father. Mm -hmm. And he made that plain. That Mr. Farrakhan was like his spiritual father. He loved him. He respected him and everything. And he and he never did anything wrong. You understand? It right. was the reason it was the black caucus, the caucus 
that kept on crying about Frank Gorn's works action. I'm not excuse me, crying about Carlisle's works action and deeds. It was the Black Caucus that kept crying about that and so forth, and that he should do this, he should do that. So Mr. Ferncon relieved him of his post, okay, and uh, which Fern, what Carlin couldn't understand, because he really, Carlin didn't do nothing wrong. Because everything that he said about them damn Jews, Mr. Ferncon had said the same thing. Ferencon okay. said, I remember that Ferencon said the same thing, because I heard yeah, him always, in those Ferencon speeches. always said the same thing. Yep. But to go along with those, the Black Caucus, you understand what John said, Frank Gordon went in that direction and relieved Carlin of his post, and uh, Carl, which Carlin couldn't understand that. And Carlin for, kept trying to get back to Mr. Frank, you know, his position as a, a nation of Islam. And so he always reached out to Mr. Frank on. They were supposed to meet, resolve the situation, so forth. For years, he was trying to write letters, call, and appointments being made to meet up with Mr. Farrakhan, but it never came about. So then, then uh, 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 Carlin established the um, the new Black Panther Party. He, that's when he started that organization. And I said to Carlin, "This is the Black Panther. It's a good program and everything, but if if you want more attraction to be more acceptable, instead of saying Black Power, I would I would use the term. I think you know, the term." Uh, economical power will be more effective and you will draw more people to the program. But he wanted to establish the Black Power uh, uh, slogan for the new Black Panther Party, and that's what he did. And he went that direction and, uh, and, 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 and took it and, 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 made it and laid the foundation, a solid foundation with the Black Panther, brought it back to the surface where it was before. And he did a, he did, he did a good job. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so, so that's how that went. And then he was doing, he was very successful going around blasting. I mean, he was blasting, okay. And um, he had made it plain to all the brothers out there who's caught up with this white woman. Carl, <laughs> Carl shut it down. He told all them brothers, he made it plain that, that the white woman is a two-legged dog. So any of you brothers out there who were a white woman or white wife, okay, just remember what Carlin said. The white woman is a two-legged dog. So if you think you you got some, if you think you you got something valuable, just remember what Carlin said now. He made it plain. The white woman is a two-legged dog. Okay? So if you married a one, or you going with one, or you sleeping with one, just remember Carlin said, that's a dog. <laughs> All right. So, and then eventually, um, Carlin was a, uh, was, 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 was a ladies man. Uh, he uh, went down, did his, they moved, started moving all around the country, making speeches, going back and forth to Africa and the, 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 the Islamic world and so forth. And, I, and he used to come back and give us reports of his traveling experiences. And he was the one that made it plain to us that in the Holy Land, you got a lot of homosexuals in that all that Sunni thing over there. Okay? And then in the Holy Land, he said he witnessed a gay parade. A gay parade. Okay? All right? And he also really? made it plain that the man he a called Prophet Muhammad. A yeah. gay pardon? A gay parade? Where, where was this? In the Holy Land. Really? Holy Land. Yeah, you got a lot of homos in that in that in that in that uh, in that uh, orthodox Sunni religion. A lot of homos. I'm gonna tell you something. All that y'all think uh, uh orthodox Sunni Islam, they're never Christians. They're but they don't even know who our lawyers. They're a bunch of Christians, you understand? Because any religion that teach God is a, 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 a mystery God teaching, the God is a mystery and mystery God teaching is Christianity. And it comes from Yaku's creation because that's where it started. When they were sticking the needles in the baby's brains and, and killing the baby, and they told the mother that the baby went, went away to prepare a place for you in heaven. You understand? It's a Christian religion. You ask any Sunni or Orthodox, who is Allah? They can't tell you. 
because they, they, their mind can't conceive, can't comprehend the reality of God. Like the messenger made it plain, the black man is God. You understand what I'm saying? He said, and the man that they call Prophet Muhammad, he never taught black people, he taught white Arabs. See, so when you go over there, that's all you're going to see is the white Arab. The black ones ain't got no power. You understand what I'm trying to say? The messenger went over there one time. He didn't go. He never went back. Because when he went, he wanted to, to thought they were going to assist him to set up a hospital. Which Now, here you got the wealth of the world, billionaire, billion, and you won't even help set up a hospital. So in the meantime, they set that one down. What, 96th Street? They're doing about $40 million setting that up, but never set up a hospital. So even after prayer, check this out. After your five prayers, if you got a medical problem, you ain't got no hospital to go to unless you go to your slave master's hospital. Because the Arabs over there with the money, they didn't have enough sense to set up a hospital in America. For their own people, not just for black America, just for Arabs that's here too. You know what I'm saying? So with all your prayers, you understand? Know and you're reading your Quran and your Hadith. If you get a medical problem, you ain't got no hospital to go to. Now look how dumb, look how look how dumb you are. Mm. Okay. Okay, so um and then the man he called Jesus. Jesus taught Jews. Jesus taught Jews. The man you called Prophet Muhammad never told you he was a prophet. Jesus never told you he was a prophet. You said that, but they didn't say that. You know what I'm trying to say? Because the man you called Prophet Muhammad was not a prophet. Now, can you handle reality? The man you called Prophet Muhammad was a white man. Okay? Malala Muhammad Ali was a white man. Yusuf Ali was the white man. The one that put the, the Quran together that you read it. They were white. Now, can you handle reality? The messenger said, the messenger said, all, all white people is the devil by nature made to be destroyed and not to be given another chance. He made that plain. And he also made plain that every time you see a black man, you're looking at God. Now, you handle that. <laughs> it's easy for me, but you handle that. Okay. So that's the that's the uh, 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 the thing with the Orthodox and Sun in Sunni Islam, okay. And it was uh, uh, Malcolm was the one that uh, uh, gave the messenger respect, which he earned, the respect which he earned of the the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Malcolm established that, and Khalid uh, 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 made it gave the respect. Because Minister Francon was smoking. I mean, he was kicking. I mean, I got to give him. He did good work now. And Khalid was the one that established uh, the Honorable Louis Francon. Khalid was the one that added that to his title, the Honorable Louis Francon, which he had earned because he did do good work. Next. Yeah. So you have someone who's asking in the chat you um, gotta talk a little louder <laughs> yeah um yeah i think it's your phone uh because it's very loud i'm looking at it on yeah. the on the actual in real time um i think it's your phone you might have to turn your phone up um yeah you might have to turn your volume up on your phone yeah uh someone in the chat is saying thank you for your knowledge and they want to know if you have written a book. Say again. Uh, someone in the chat says, thank you for your knowledge. And they want to know, have you written a book? How they, how, how they can get the book? No, no. They said, have you written a book? They're asking. Have I written a book? Yeah. No, I never. I'm going to be honest with you. I never wrote a book of my own. And I don't see the need for me to write a book. Because there's no books out there that can surpass the books of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. When you got, uh, there's no books in the world on earth like Message of the Black Man for America, I was, I was Savior Has Arrived, 
How to Eat to Live, Part 1, Part 2 of uh, The Theology of Time, The Supreme Lessons from Master Prophet Muhammad, uh, the FOI Training Manual from the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, of uh, the proper handling of people, the accomplishments of the Muslims, uh, oh, the Supreme Guide to the Ministry. Uh, go to my website, Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah dot com and go and click in on publications and you want to see all those books from the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and you're also going to see the, the what I did the mother plane the mother plane uh, the um, the pathway to Islam which is the history of Master W.D. Farah Muhammad is called Detroit Detroit 1930 or July 4th 1930 Detroit, 1930, um, the Muslim's cookbook, Muhammad's Mu Muslim cookbook, um, the MGT manual, and uh, MG MGT manual, Muslim cookbook, uh, MGT manual, the Path of Islam, which is July 4th, 1930, the Mother Plane, and the Muslim's cookbook. Those four are not there, but I have them available. Now, in order you time you want to reach the um, one of those books, just go to um, Cash App, um, dollar sign, uh, uh, let's see, the dollar sign, Allah 24K, dollar sign, Allah, A-L-L-A-H 24K, dollar sign, Allah 24K. Just go right there, everything comes up, and you can always call me at 917 Five five four four two seven four nine one seven five five four four two seven four. Okay. Paul, I'm gonna write that in the chat. Hold on. Uh, hey, Mark. Nine one seven five five four four two seven four. Yeah, nine one seven. Five five four four two seven four. Cash app is um, dollar sign Allah two four K, and website um, Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah dot com. Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah dot com. Everything is there, and it's for everybody, all black people. Let me make this plain where I'm on it. So nobody owns the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad is for the lost found nation of Islam in America. All the lost found nation of Islam in America. Brother and sister. Nobody owns it. Because you got a lot of fools out there talking about they're going to sue, they're going to lawsuit, this and that. You stop, stop making a fool out yourself. Whatever money you're going to pay your slave master under the hang of a lawyer to sue somebody, take that money and go have the, and go print the books and stop making a fool out yourself. You control nothing. Nothing. I republished Mr. Farrakhan, reprinted, re, uh, uh, reproduced Mr. Farrakhan's lectures for over 20 years. He never said a word. Yeah, over 20 years. I'd be out in the street with a thousand of them at a time. Right, right, over 20 years. You ain't got, in fact, you ain't got nobody in America that promoted Mr. Frank on more than me. Nobody, no mm -hmm. minister, no captain, no lieutenant, no secretary, no nobody in America promoted him more than me because yeah. I kept him out there a thousand every weekend on 125th Street in front of the world. Right, okay, right. and also was playing 25 stores at the same time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nuri, all his tapes, I we published those. We we uh, 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 published those for years. I sold more of his than he did. He never mm -hmm. mentioned about that. As long as the word is getting out, that's the purpose. Nobody owns nothing, and anything that pertains to Almighty God Allah in the person of Master W. D. Farad Muhammad, his last and greatest messenger, the only. Messenger of Allah, I'll be whatever they have produced, be tape, book, or whatever that's elevation, that uh, uh, elevation 
for the young generation, if you're not doing it, I'll do it. And don't care what you, you can't do nothing about it. It don't belong to you. It don't belong to me. It belongs to whoever want to keep up the printing and the publishing and the duplication. Whoever want to do that, you have that right to do that. But being you cheap, got no class, and you don't believe, you have no faith, and you don't want to make it available for everybody, so now you want to act like you got control. You control nothing when it comes to the nation of Islam under the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. It, whatever it is, book, a uh, 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 CD, DVD, a uh, cassette, it belongs to all of us. All of us. And anybody, now check this, I'll make this plain. I want you to hear me. The teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is the life Life-giving teaching. It's saving lives. It's a life-giving teaching. And anybody who tries to block the life-giving teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is a devil. You can't change the word of God. How are you going to change the word of God? God's word is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You cannot change the word of God. It's a life. Remember, I repeat myself. The teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is a life-giving teaching. It's saving lives. That garbage that y'all out there running, talking about ain't saving nobody. The reason why it's, I mean, look at the situation now. You can't control the youth. You can't control your own children. You can't control everything. You can't. It's chaos. And you don't have nothing to solve it. And the only solution to it is the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. So anybody who tried to block or interfere with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, reaching the population and the young generation, education, elevation for the young generation, you ain't nothing but a devil. Okay? And you have nothing better to, 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 to pass it. Name me something, name me any organization, any teaching out there that can surpass the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. There is none. Your Bible failed. Your Quran failed. Your Hadith failed. Your whole educational system failed because the, today all the, all the educational system is producing a, a, a social degree. Check this out. A social degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree and a doctor's degree, and you're a homosexual. The, the educational system today ain't producing nothing but homos. Okay? And you know that. So when it comes to the teachings of the most honorable life, Muhammad, what y'all should do, you should be helping me. If you don't want to do it, just help me keep doing it. I've been doing it all these years without no help. No help. My pension, my social security, no help. Help me keep it going. Don't try to block it. If you don't, if you don't want to be a part of it, mind your business. Get the hell out the way and let this young generation have what they need to take them to another level where they can be civilized, cultured, and refined, highly intelligent, and love for their brother, but they love for themselves, respect their brother, and deal with each other equality instead of shooting each other. Because that's all they're doing. And you can't stop it with your ignorance. You're not going into projects to teach them. You could you go to any project. You're not going to no project houses with no Quran. You go to no project house with your Quran, you slap you upside your head and put your Quran down the center rail. And you know it. Okay? So let's stop the foolishness. The teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, word for word, right name Zach. Don't add to it. Don't take away from it. Just like he said it, that's what's going to save the people. That garbage you got is not a, 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 a,
Because we're saving you, you wouldn't be out doing alcohol, drugs, and tobacco, and marijuana, and a homo. You need it. Don't block it. It's for your generation. It's for your children. And you have no control over your children. You have no control over your children, and you know it. Uh, Brother okay. Mel, um, give give that Cash App again for those people who wanted to 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 purchase your uh, books and stuff. My Cash App is a uh, dollar sign. Uh, Allah. A L L A H two four K. Okay. Allah. Uh, excuse me. Dollar sign. Allah two four. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm typing that in the chat now. Yeah. So dollar sign. Tell me all publications is available. Okay, I put it up in the chat. And put my uh, my phone number 917-554-4274. Yeah, I put it there. And I need help. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing all this. I've been doing all this for 50 years. I've been doing it for 50 years. Didn't ask nobody for nothing. <laughs> yeah. So any, all you got to do, help me with the publication. I don't want nothing. I just want to keep the publication available for the young generation. So, so they now, have education and go to another level and so increase now, their determination. So now let the let the uh let the viewers know what publications you have for sale. Okay. The Supreme Lessons. The book you showed them. The Supreme Lessons. That you need. Man, woman, and child. That's the foundation of the nation. The Supreme Wisdom. Lessons from Master W.D. Farad Muhammad that he gave to his servant for the Lord's Foundation of Islam in America. You need that. Okay. Well, uh, you got the, you got whatever books you got there, brother. You got the rest uh, of them? No. Oh, okay. You need uh, the MGTGC manual. Okay. You need to, uh, in fact, wait a minute. Go to my uh, Facebook. You go to my Facebook, Melchizedek Shabazz Allah, and you can go to the um, my um, website, Universal Supreme Shabazz and you can call me. Nine one seven five five four four two seven four, and you got everything because it's about nine books that you should have of the messenger. I want you to understand me. I only republish the messenger's book because, mm -hmm. Father, I'm, as, I'm concerned. All the other junk you can put in the garbage can because they ain't saving nobody. Because they, because they, if they were saving somebody, they wouldn't be out to shoot sh shooting everybody. <laughs> okay. It ain't saving nobody. Yeah. And you know what the teacher with up in the 19th, uh, uh, um, six, uh, 75, you know for yourself, all that foolishness wasn't going on. The FOIs was all out in the street, all in the community and everything. They had a little problem, but not like it is now. Okay? And you all know that. And all you rich ones out there, don't think you're safe. Okay? Because the grassroots are going to be coming to your houses to say hello to you. Okay? Mm. And you and you better pay them, and you better pay your security very well, because don't think you're safe, because your worst enemy can be your security. Remember that they see your lifestyle, and what makes you think they don't want the same thing you got, and you ain't paying them nothing. <laughs> you better wake up. <laughs> and you also have, uh, you do you still have the DVDs for sale and things of that nature? Well, DVDs, I still have DVDs, yes. I got, I got all the bass of DVDs. But um, we did that for so long. But I thought that the the the, the books, they need them books in their house. Okay. They need them books. You know what I'm saying? But DVDs, if they want something, I can always hook it up something for them. But the, the publication is what I'm really concerned about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That Supreme mm -hmm. Lesson, FOI Training Manual. Uh, the the MGT was to do the MGT GCC for the women, uh, the uh, the the MGT GCC manual. That's like the theology time for the women. Oh, brother, oh, uh, uh, I should show it. I should, I should. You got a minute? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a minute. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. So, as I told y'all, we have a walking library. Okay. A walking library among us here today. Okay. And Brother Mel, you know, we, we go back a long, long, long ways, you know, and he has archives of material, you know, and, you know, he used to vend on 125th Street, you know, and he would, you know, have all of those, like he said, you know, he had all of the, um, the, the lectures and stuff like that of Dr. Khaled Muhammad and, you know, just about everything related that you were looking for, you know, and I, it's uh, just a pleasure to finally be able to. Okay, okay I'm, I'm back. Here. I'm back. Okay. Let me get you back on. Yeah. Can you see that book? Uh, yeah, right there. Got it? Uh huh. Got it? Yep. Got it? Uh-huh. Huh? Yep. Got it? Got it? We got it. Can you back up? Can you get the bot the, the, the bottom of it? Uh let's pull it up a little bit more. A little more. A little more. There we go. Beautiful. Got it? Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, now bring it up a little bit more so we can see the bottom part. A little bit more. 
a little bit more. Did you get did you get the top of it? Yeah. Now we need to see the bottom. Huh? Now we yeah, now we need to see the bottom. Okay, you got that's the FOI training manual. Right. But we can't see the bottom. You you got it? Uh bring it up a little bit more. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Got it? Yep. And this is the whole history of the mother plane from the messenger. Not no, not no Johnny come lately. Okay. That's from the messenger, not a Johnny come lately. Okay. When we go up higher? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Got it? Yep. Now, now the mother plane, because you got a lot of clowns out there trying to compete. That is direct from the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Okay. Okay. So now the other ones, they can go to, oh. This is Queen Queen Clara Muhammad, the messenger's wife. Let us see the top again. Okay, good. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yep. Now, oh. Hey, you got everything. Oh, yeah. Now, okay. Okay. Now, now if you go. Now you go on my website and go to publications. All those books is available. Okay? Mm -hmm. Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah.com. Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah.com. You go there. In the Cash App, dollar sign Allah 24K. 
Telephone number, 917-554-4274. And you got it all. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Now, also, um, let's see, I want to make sure we covered everything. Let me see here. Let me just make sure I didn't leave anything out. Um, now, oh wow, I didn't even notice the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, when I when you come back, because we're we're pretty much out of time now. But when when no, we we could do a part two. Yeah, yeah. That that that'll be great. That'll okay. be great. Yeah, because I. Um Okay, let me say this to the believers, the, the people. Thank you. I appreciate you all. I love you. I respect you. All I do is keep everything available for you. You need this in your house. When you have this in your house, then you cannot be manipulated, misled, misdirected, misrepresented. You want to know what the messenger said. Remember, he was taught face to face by Master Farah Muhammad. So no student. We all can teach you. You can respect students, respect each other as a student. But students don't follow students. Students follow the teacher, and the teacher is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Okay? Beautiful. Beautifully said. Now, I, I wish we had more time, but... uh. You know, we, we do a part two. We'll we'll have to do a part two. Yeah, because okay. I wanted you to speak on the movie that uh, recently came out, a uh, one night in Miami about Malcolm X, Sam right. Cook, Jim Brown, and 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 uh, Muhammad Ali. You know. Oh, and tell them they can go to Netflix. Netflix. Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, Blood Brothers, Netflix, Blood Brothers. I'm on that with Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. Oh, and the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Let me write. Let me write that in the chat. Hold on. Yeah. What, what's uh on? Hold yeah. on. on Netflix. 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 Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and Melchizedek. The name of it is Blood Brothers. Oh, wait. Okay, I just put it in the chat. Blood Brothers on Netflix. Blood Brothers on and Netflix. And you're in that. Okay. I'm in that. And that movie, is that documentary is being shown in 190 countries. Wow. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Mm. 190 countries, and I'm in F. Oh, I uniform. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when 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 you so now what back... you do you you set it up for part two no problem okay right. and let me know all so right you can talk about that documentary and I also wanted to get you know your critique on that movie One Night in Miami because right. I know you you, know? you 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 know you know from being there. You oh, know. and Malcolm X, Malcolm X taught Sam Cook. And and Malcolm X, when Sam Cook asked Malcolm X what's going to take place, or what's going to come about, or what's going to take place, Malcolm X told Sam Cook a change is going to come. And Sam Cook took the ch that statement and made the record a change is going to come. Mm. And Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali was very close. And the reason why Ma Sam Cook got set up. Because he wants to take control of all of his masters and go independent. And that's when they set him up and, 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 and use it as an excuse for, for that um, manager of the hotel to shoot him. Okay? Right, right. I'll, I'll go into that. I'll teach that. I'll teach you on that on the next interview. The, the next time, yeah. The next and time. So, so yeah, okay? I, I, thank, I thank you again. And, um, you know, I look forward to that part two. No problem. Let me know when you're ready, okay? I sure will. Thank you, Brother you, Mel. You take care. Keep up the good work. I love you. I respect you. I'm Likewise. proud of you. And remember, forward ever, backward never.
Don't Good stop man. until you're on top. When you get on top, keep it moving, okay? Oh, Remember yeah. Allah in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, the only God, the messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the only messenger, and the rest of us are just followers. There's no big eyes. There's no little U's. The key to our people is equality. No big eyes and no little U's. Equality. Anybody who wants to be over you, tell them to go have a bean pie. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Peace. <laughs> Yeah, so that was a very powerful interview, and I'm definitely looking forward to part two, okay? And I wish we had more time, but, you know, there's always a next time. And for those who are generous enough to be moved to leave a donation to the channel, Okay, I left the information in the chat where you can leave a donation via Cash App and PayPal. Okay, and also for those who are interested in being a guest on the show, you can email us at tplonghouse at gmail.com. And that is in the chat. Uh, right now uh, on the screen should be on the screen now okay and yeah so on that note gonna sign out okay and till the next time peace <laughs>